makeup tutorial and we are using the new Kylie Royal Peach Palette. So this is the first palette I have ever, ever, ever bought by Kylie Jenner and from Kylie Cosmetics mainly because I think that the products are very overhyped and also very expensive, <laughs> especially for them to be kind of like an Instagram brand. Although it is like a Jenner brand, but it's still an Instagram brand and I still thought it was very expensive. But this time I went ahead and bit the bullet because this palette is gorgeous, you guys. It is so pretty. I'm going to try to insert my little Snapchat video in this over this because tomorrow, it's Tuesday night and I'm trying to get this up for Wednesday. But tomorrow, um, which is Wednesday, I will be filming swatches and everything like that in this in that video so you guys can see the live swatches and everything like that. But for now, I would just have a little, you know, video playing over the top. But pretty much when you open it up, you do get a mirror in this palette, which I've heard that this is the first time Kylie Cosmetics has put a mirror inside of their palettes. Um, as I mentioned, this is my first one, so this is like just a first literally a first impression. Um, I just got this in the mail. <laughs> um, and then you see all of the kind of colors here. So for this, a lot of people have said that it's just way too kind of like uh, springy. I personally think it's wearable for both winter and spring. You get some really pretty neutrals over here. There's like a little light peach, a pretty kind of like a a coppery color like a penny color that I just used on my crease you also get another transition shade if you are a little bit more fair than I am I'm about an NC50 NC55 this will not be a nice transition shade for you but moving above that you get a light kind of like champagne color then you get an orange shade here which is really really pretty and a super pretty green color you guys know green I have been on a green kick and I really wanted to do a green look but I was like no one, eh? <laughs> Stay away from the green for right now. And then um, next to that, you get a really pretty purple color. I have not swatched this, but I've also done a purple look lately. So I was like, no, I don't do that either. Um, and then after that, you get a matte really pretty blue color. It's like an electric blue, which I will be doing a tutorial with because you guys, I asked you on Snapchat and you wanted to see a look on um, this color here. So after that, you get a, it kind of is like a dual chrome. It's kind of like a gold, like a true gold, but it also looks like it has some kind of like green reflects in it, which is really pretty. Then you get a pink color here. It's like a, it's kind of like a, how do I explain it? Kind of like a peachy pink and then you get a really pretty burnt orange transition shade which I used in my crease and then a satin because it's not all the way shimmer it's more of a satin kind of um, copper color I guess you could say so this palette it does have two four six eight ten twelve shades and it also comes with a little eyeshadow brush which I did not use because I'm gonna use it tomorrow and on the back it just has the names and Kylie's little signature here so it lets you know um, at least what shades they are now how they match up is a different story because I it's just really confusing nonetheless for this being my first palette that I've ever bought it was $42 with shipping I think my shipping was free but with tax I ended up paying about $45 so that's not too expensive especially with the shipping being free because I've heard that Kylie's shipping is like five bucks and it's just coming from California so that's kind of like girl <laughs> um but other than that the pigmentation is so good you guys the matte shades that i applied in my crease which was just the kind of cinnamon or no it was the uh the duchess shade yeah the duchess shade it was really pretty i just put it in the crease it was very pigmented and then i put cinnamon on the lid and that was like really creamy i did use a cream eyeshadow base but it was extremely extremely creamy you guys i will also go in more depth tomorrow as i'm going to be playing with a little bit more of the other colors like the matte more mattes and things like that so i will definitely let you guys know in another video what else i think about this but first off or for being my first impression this palette is great it's definitely worth the $45. I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but if you think about it, you're getting 12 shades for $45, and that's not a bad deal, plus a mirror and plus a brush. So that's not a bad deal at all. Um, I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows run for about the same, and I'm going to grab the Modern Renaissance palette really quick. So I believe Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, I think they range about... I want to say about $45, about $40-something. And for this one, you get 8 
16, no, 16 shades, so you get two extra, sh no, what, 14 shades, <laughs> and then in the Kylie one, you get, oh shit, I just got my fucking nail in there, damn it, <laughs> but you get the 12 shades in this Kylie palette, so comparing the two, the size difference is, is very, very, very different, it's just slightly a little bit larger. The pan shades are also circular as opposed to square. So with circular, you can't fit as many as you can square. And also Anastasia Belly Hills shadows in this particular palette, because she did add more, are a little bit smaller than they are in the Kylie palette. So the Kylie palettes are a little bit larger. I also compared them on my Snapchat to the Makeup Geek shades. Um, the Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek eyeshadow pans are either the same size or a little bit smaller because the pan fits directly into this little insert here so it fits right into the pan so it's probably about the same size maybe even a little bit smaller so that just kind of gives you a, a a pan or reference with using this palette so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video I am super excited for you guys to see it because it's really just super simple it's just a really peachy kind of look with a dark bambi lip one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys, the packaging, it's very sturdy, very durable. I love the whites with the gold Kylie in it. I wish it just said like peach palette or something like that as opposed to her name because it's like, we know, okay, we know, <laughs> we know who you are. Um, and then the outside packaging just has her really, her eyes and it just has a really pretty like makeup look, which is kind of what I base mine off of. Um... But I've heard that people are, like, kind of hating because she kind of, like, bit off of Huda Beauty, but whatever, you know. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It will be pretty long because I will be doing my entire face and everything like that. So, I hope you all enjoy. I love you all, and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye. Okay, so I'm starting by priming my lids with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC45 and I am just using a Sigma concealer brush just to apply this. This is just going to be my eyeshadow base. And next I'm going into the Royal Peach Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. Drumroll please. No, just kidding. This is what the palette looks like. It is just an array of bright and also neutral shades that you could use. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is I believe Duchess. It's just the kind of like burnt orange shade and I'm using this with a big fluffy brush from Sigma this is the E40 blending brush this was the E40 blending brush before they revamped it all and it's not fluffy anymore but anyways so I'm just putting this into, into the crease and windshield wiper motions and then I go into the Morphe 350 palette and I use this darker kind of burnt orange shade this step is a very 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 unnecessary I just what I wanted it to be a little bit darker but it wasn't so anyways after that I use my color tattoo by Maybelline and bad to the bronze and I'm using a Sigma E58 cream shadow brush and I am just pretty much packing this all over the lid from the inner corner into the outer corner kind of doing like a cut crease if you want to say and then I go in with cinnamon on the same brush just because it's already kind of like wet a little bit the reason I applied the eyeshadow base is just so that the eyeshadow appears a little bit more foiled looking and a little bit more intense I'm sure the eyeshadow would have applied beautifully without a um, base underneath but this is how I like to apply most shimmer shadows so after that I go into a Sigma uh, what kind of brush is this? It is an E36 blending brush and it's just a smaller one. So I use that just to blend the kind of like reddish brown shade in the crease in with the shimmery shades so they have like a seamless flow. After that for lashes I apply my Iris Beauty lash Lashes in the style Sriracha. Very pretty, very fluffy and they last quite a long time for the price. And then after that I apply a long lasting or lasting drama eyeliner by Maybelline in the shade Striking Cop. So I wanted to continue with the copper trend and then I take the same uh, Duchess shade and I apply this with a Sigma E30 pencil brush onto the lower lash line just to once again tie in the upper lid area to the lower lid area if you're not a big fan of copper underneath the eyes or in the waterline you can totally skip this step and for the inner corner highlight I took sugar daddy which is an artist couture diamond glow powder which I use for my face highlight I just put that into the inner corner with the same e30 pencil brush and then I just put mascara on and I never show this clip but most of the time I'm using my Jordana best lash extreme mascara onto the lower lashes and then for liquid lipstick I'm 
I'm using a Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Vixen. This is just kind of like a maroon, like a reddish brick kind of shade. Very pretty. This liquid lipstick is very comforting. I'm still wearing it right now and I've been wearing it for about three hours and it, it hasn't rubbed off besides in the inner mouth area. It's a very comfortable and beautiful matte liquid lipstick. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry there was not a foundation routine as I mentioned in the beginning. This video just would have been 15 minutes and ain't nobody got time for that. So I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Bye.